Joint Genie spacer tabs for centering on any thickness of material. Here's a professional bar kitted up with all the tabs. On each post it has seven one millimeter increment spacers and the top one is a two millimeter thickness spacer which is the final clamping one. If you use them all as a single block down make sure they're always tight. You can apply this to standard melamine face chipboard. This will give you a central column of dowels dead centre in the middle of the material because the bar is the same thickness designed specifically for kitchen furniture, uh, bedroom furniture. Single row dowels. But if we want to work on nice pieces of wood then we need to be able to centre it on any thickness. As I've said, these are all one millimetre increments. So I've got these set at 16, 18, 20, 22, all the way up to 30 millimetre thick. If I want to centre it on the next one up from 16 to 18, I need to actually move the bar one millimetre sideways to be in the middle of an 18 mil. All I need to do is shift one of the spacer tabs, one millimetre increments, up. Leave the rest down as a block. I've now moved it sideways one millimetre, perfectly centred on an 18 mil thick. If I do another one, one millimetre increment, total of two mils now, moved laterally, I can centre it that quickly and that simply 20 millimetres thick. Again, centred on 22 mil. I can keep going all the way up with all the seven tabs up simply and effectively all the way up to 30 millimetres thick. That's the 30 mil one. Perfectly centred. Now we go further than that because what we can do with a professional bar if you have the craftsman set you get the long bar and the short bar in the kit. You can buy them separately and make your kits up as you go along. Both the bars are 16mm thick. If you put them both side by side, you still have the array of tabs for adjustment. Let's leave them down as a single block. We can apply this to timbers thicker than 30. We go to the next one, 32mm wide, 32mm board. We can do double rows of dowels for heavy joinery. Out. This is done in a matter of minutes, no measuring, no marking out. Now, we can take it further from that. We still have the measurements here, the increments to be able to move it laterally and centre it on any thickness between 32 and 48 mil thick. As you can see here, we've got a triple row. Leave them all down as a single block. Start on one edge. Draw the first pairs. Once you've drawn the first pairs, we can then Put a few dowels in the second row that we've drilled. Move the tabs upwards. This allows the bar to index sideways. Perfectly located, we can now drill a third row of holes. If we've drilled a third row of holes for heavy joinery, I have an example of that to show on a very awkward piece of woodwork. This is a very acute angle, heavy piece of wood but you can see how the triple rows have been applied. Very quick, very efficient, very simple. Length, breadth, width. The Joint Genie will cope with it all.